Hi, welcome to Gardening with Ducks. This is Sabi and I'm in our backyard here in Oregon. I'm filling up the pool with some water and the ducks have already jumped in there, but I thought I'd start shooting this video on what are five things that are good to know before getting ducklings. With this being near the end of 2020, we thought that uh, perhaps some people are thinking about getting ducklings in the next year. And so uh, hopefully some of these lessons learned from us might help you as well. The first thing to know is where you can buy your ducklings from. You can buy your ducklings through the mail and have them mail shipped to you as either eggs or recently hatched ducklings within a day or two. Uh, or you can go to a local farm store which likely received them in the mail from one of the uh, larger duck farms in the country as well. And then a third option would be getting ducklings from neighbors, from a farm directly, or directly from another source such as Craigslist. I definitely do recommend planning out where you would get your ducklings from in advance. We found out in 2020 that there are certain years when ducklings are in very high demand. So while we were originally planning to get ducklings in June, once the end of May rolled around we thought we could try to get them earlier, but I think it was May 26th when we finally found one place where we could reserve three ducklings to be picked up on May 13th, so you know, two months later almost, uh, because the, all the earlier reservations had already been spoken for. Uh, and then those were the three khaki ducklings that we had on reserve. Uh, we eventually found two white crested ducks available on April 10th. We brought them home right away and then we lowered the number of khaki camels we were picking up to two rather than three because we didn't think our duck house was big enough to support five full grown ducks. Uh, someone else was able to add that duck to their order and we're probably pretty happy about it. The second thing to know about ducks before you get ducklings is whether you have any preferences of the breeds that you would get. I first started reading about duck breeds in Modern Farmer magazine back in 2015 and then I've looked through some other sources like Dave Holder Reed's book and my top two breed choices would have been Anconas or Magpies because they're good foragers, good egg layers, not great flyers, and quiet relative to the other breeds. We ended up getting Khaki Campbells because they also met those criteria but they look more like a wild duck so that's why maybe we would have preferred to get a Magpie or Ancona. The third thing to know is whether you want to get drakes or only have layers in your flock. When we ordered the Khaki Campbells or the White Crested Ducks, they were both female uh, so that they had been sexed. Uh, an expert probably did some vent sexing and with 95% accuracy could, could tell us that they were be a female. There are other breeds or sometimes subtypes within a breed that might have uh, sex linked traits where you can tell whether the breed is a male or female at a young age. Male ducks are usually a little bit larger than the females and they're actually a lot quieter so they don't have the same type of vocal cord that can make a loud quack. They just kind of give you a little rat rat. The fourth thing to know before getting ducklings is what equipment you need to have ready. Uh, I think the most important thing is to have a container, a safe container and space for them. Uh, then you need to have some kind of a, a warming light bulb for them. They have these red heating bulbs which uh, worked out well for us for a little while until uh, it started uh, chipping away on the paint and then it was too bright. So we actually ended up buying a, more, a little bit more expensive ceramic bulb but then that didn't provide them light throughout the night and they're a bit, possibly even able to sleep better. So we like the ceramic light option. Because we picked up our ducklings at different times, uh, five weeks apart, we had two different containers that we kept the ducklings in, and therefore we were able to use the second light for the second pair of ducklings. Uh, since we raised our ducklings as two groups, each five weeks apart, we had two different containers that we raised them in. We didn't uh, combine them into one container when two of the ducks were much larger than the other two. Uh, actually, when we let them outside together, uh, then there was one time when uh, one of the larger white crested ducks chased a, a little duckling khaki through a chain linked fence. So <laughs> uh, it was a little bit stressful for the little ones when they were together. And to close out the top five things you'd like to know before getting ducklings, it's about their water and food. So with, uh, with water we bought these water fountains which work really well for chickens but we soon learned that as soon as the ducks bills grow they don't really fit them well into the fountain so well and, and they really like dunking their heads in a bowl of water which we we're just able to grab some standard salad bowls and 
those actually worked a lot better for us than the water fountains did. Uh, for food, it, it certainly helps to consult your local farm store or where you might be getting some food for them. Uh, typically, duck food isn't available and you'll end up getting chicken food, but supplementing that with a few key ingredients so that they have enough uh, niacin in their diet. Uh, a good way to boost the niacin in their diet is to add a little bit of yeast to their food. This could be either brewer's yeast or nutritional yeast, whichever one you have better access to. For their foraging diet, we started feeding our ducklings slugs as soon as we found them. Even if the slugs were too big, we would cut them up uh, into slices so that, to make sure that they really liked slugs. And I'm not sure if that was necessary, but some people say that it probably helped. And I see the water is done, so I better turn that off. I hope you found these five things helpful and now here's a little bit more of our ducks.